Hi everyone, I'm coming to you very pregnant. Um, <laughs> so, I haven't done my videos. Like I said, I was going to do my gestational diabetes because I've had a new kitchen put in and I've never known a kitchen takes so long. Like, it's still not done, it's like three weeks later. Um, so, I couldn't like make anything um, or anything like that. So, that's why, and it's been way too noisy to come up here and film anything else. So that's why them videos haven't been uploaded. But today I thought I'd do a quick um, trying all new bits of makeup out. Some of them I have already tried, but I've only tried recently, so I want to talk about them. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited for this one because some of them I literally haven't touched. Um, so I don't know what they're like. I've done my brows on and I haven't got any new lips, so... Um, I will just do my lips normally after but I do have some new little bits to try so I love absolutely love 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 the old makeup um got this little bag with my purchases which is so cute so when the face and body foundation came out I had a little tester before and it was so beautiful it's like the mac face and body but i actually like this one a bit better it's a bit more glowy and um, i went for shade 3w0 which is quite a warm toned one now my tan isn't like i need to retan today so i don't know if it's going to be a little bit olive on me today but i can lighten up with my concealer and stuff and um, but we'll have a look at that consistency because it was so long ago that I got the test, I can't even remember what it's like. <laughs> then I got this beautiful palette. So I already had one of these. I think it was last year's Christmas one with like the silver and golden. Um, and I love it so much. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, do you know what, surely I really, really want it. It's focusing on me and not the palette. But you can see the kind of burgundy, purpley colours. So really nice again for this winter season and then they actually have um three new ones this isn't one of the new ones the new one i was going to get was sold out but i always really like this one anyway so this is like a highlight palette and i'm obsessed with this orangey color here um and they're all really beautiful shades to be honest so they're my new dior bits that i'm going to try and then i'm going to talk you through everything else as i'm putting it on my face which looks very pale and just not attractive at the minute so <laughs> let's start so what last year it would have been um a brand came into boots called nude by nature now this is um a really natural brand so all of the products are completely natural they don't use talc or anything like way more natural than bare minerals and all of that and normally when you hear of a natural brand you're like i'm not really going to get the coverage of things i want or it's not going to work for my skin well i do end up being a full coverage girl i do like i love what they stand for obviously with my lush background i love everything about it but i just think oh my god is the coverage going to be there so there's three things here that i've been so impressed with that i want to show you guys because the more natural things we can put on our skin the better our skin is going to be um and these are actually amazing so you can get a little i wish i got it out now but it's too hard to get out guys i'm really sorry um, <laughs> but you can get a little um box and it has it has about six things in so it has the a mini primer a mini bronzer a mini under eye um powder a concealer and what else is it having oh and the brush and i think the powder brush i think that's everything in there um so you can try out all the little bits um i think they're about 40 pound in boots but they're on sale for like 10 pound tk max so that's where i got this from sorry boots um so when i got this i thought oh let me try because oh and you get the foundation powder in there as well which i actually love which is why i got it um so i'm just gonna pop this on so yeah 10 pound in tk max have a little look and if you can find it definitely pick one up 
think in the in the normal powder foundation powder i wear n3 almond so that's like my shade if that's anything to go off um but yeah this primer i just feel like it actually really protects my skin it feels really nice on i can feel that barrier um and it smells it's like a weird it's like a nice smell like i don't know what this smell is but i really enjoy it when i put it on and that's the nice thing about when you're doing your makeup you want to enjoy putting it on because it's kind of like your time your pamper time so that's a primer on so this is the perfecting primer now we're going to go in with my foundation let's see if i love it as much as i did before right my beauty blender is already damp so i'm just going to put a little bit on can you hear pebbles she's demanding my attention because i'm busy doing this that's why she's meowing she literally wants belly scratches off me all the time let me just get it will help if i have a little mirror where i can actually see what i'm doing rather than looking in the camera oh here we go So you can see just from that bit that the coverage is quite sheer but it's just like a really beautiful glowy coverage and then when you've got your concealer on and your powder you really don't need that much coverage and that's me saying that and I'm, I used to be like a six pump foundation girl. I'm just going to finish applying this everywhere else obviously as i said the color is a lot darker than my actual skin at the moment because i haven't tanned on my face anyway it's darker than that i don't think it's actually bad with the rest of my body um but yeah it's just i mean why i like it because it just feels so glowy and so lightweight especially when i'm doing things like the school run or I just need to nip out to a midwife appointment and all that and I really can't be bothered to put makeup on because lockdown made me so lazy with makeup um, it just gives you that little bit on so you feel a bit more confident but it's just not heavy on your skin so that is the foundation you can see it's like got a really nice dewy kind of vibe to it um, just really helps you glow helps with that pregnancy glow um next i can't believe i haven't ever tried this <laughs> because it's been around the longest time um but i've never actually tried this maybelline instant anti-age eraser so my favorite concealer is the um Too faced one so i've always kind of stuck with that one or what other ones have I really loved before? I've just never actually tried this one for whatever reason. Even though I've always looked at it and thought I want to try it. So, because my Too Faced one's like £25, I thought why not give this one a little go. And then if I like it, it's like this one's like £8 or something. Oh my god, I hate these when they're brand new and like you have to keep twisting. And then loads comes out all at once there we go okay so this is in shade warm light i always go for a yellow undertone um so let's spot bits of this on a little bit on the chin and a little bit here okay and then i'm going to use my beauty blender to blend all of that out I love the faces I pull doing makeup. I try to keep it like really <laughs> like normal on film but just can't help pull like the mouth open. Whatever it is. 
So just put that down the centre of my nose. Now I'm not going to cream contour today because I'm just going to use the powder um, to contour, which I'll show you very soon. Um, but that is like the usual colour that I would highlight with, so I'm happy with that colour choice. It's looking a bit ghosty on here. Um, it doesn't actually look that light in person, I promise. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set under my eyes. So as I said with this new By Nature set, you get a mini translucent finishing powder. So this, it's like a mirror, so it's not, oh there we go, perfect. Um, so it's like really, really small. So what I've done is I actually put it in an old powder pot just because there's quite a lot in there, but it's so it's hard to get out of such a little pot. Um, so this is actually the Nude by Nature one, not the Beauty Bakery one. But I really, really like it. Again, for saying I've got everything for £10 and I've got like a new favourite primer, a new favourite under eye powder and a new favourite bronzer, it was so worth it. So I'm just going to press this under my eyes. And it just doesn't go cakey, it doesn't... You know, it's not one of them heavy under eye ones. And in my pictures, I haven't noticed any flashback either. So, that's good. So, I just literally like to set really just under my eyes and a little bit on my chin and forehead. And then I go in with my usual powder, which is MAC Studio Fix NC42. And just put that everywhere else. This isn't a new one. This is an old favourite so <laughs> I'll just quickly put this one on to set with I did originally want to get like a full face of all new things to try but then my bank account said Charlotte we'll get some new bits but we're not we're not going to get a full face today <laughs> uh, you know maybe it's like a few weeks away so it's Christmas uh, and so is your bills so i got a few new bits but not everything's new but hopefully i'll be able to treat myself once i've had teddy and get more new bits and if there's anything you guys really want me to try please comment down below i'm always up for trying um new makeup bits and finding new favorites and i'd love to do that for you right, so now that's all on this is the nude by nature bronzer so again it's just that lovely rose gold top and the bronzer is called 01 bondy bronze there and it's actually a loose a loose powder um i know it's not focusing too much but you can see it's loose so what i do is i just tip it into the top there and then I get my matte brush, I can't remember what this is called, 1688, maybe I've used this for the longest time, I always use this to contour. Um, and then I just dip that in, tap off the excess and the pigment actually comes out really, really well as well. And then I just put it on my cheek, I mean look at that, oh, um, let's blend that out a little bit. But you can see how pigmented it is. Like I literally hardly had anything on the brush when I tapped all that off then. Um, so I put it under my cheekbones. Just be really gentle with it. And it blends so nicely. Like I don't know how I would have felt about a loose powdered bronzer before. Like you know if I just looked at one I think I would have felt like no but it really works so then i just do it across my forehead and down each side of the nose and um, most of the time i don't get a little bush to do this i just literally shape up my nose with this big brush because i'm lazy as i said um, and then just under my jaw just so everything kind of phases in together so that's that um again i didn't get a new blusher so i'm just gonna put on an old 
blusher before I put the highlight and stuff on. So I've just got my Becca Songbird one at the minute. I love an orange blush. That is what I live for. So I just put a little bit of this on. And then we'll try that beautiful Dior palette. So just put that on there and then I have started putting it just on my temples maybe a little bit on the nose because I saw Instagram do it so I did it <laughs> and now we're gonna go in with this absolutely beautiful highlight palette oh my god so let's do some swatches for you so this one oh my god look that is is it going to even show you how pretty it is? There. Look at that. And then we've got the more pinky toned one. Which is there. And then my favourite, why I got it, this peach one. Just let the light hit it right there, and then this beautiful bronze one, which obviously I wouldn't be able to use for highlight, but I definitely use this on my eyes or on my chest in summer. Um, which is that? Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use this one down my nose, and then this one. Um, on my actual cheekbones. So, I was like to go with a lighter one down my nose just to really snatch it in. And then let's do this beauty all on here. Oh, we're glowing today, guys. So pretty. I hate when like you, you know when the Dior actually comes off these bits, I'm going to be really upset when you rub out the word, but I'll just have to get a few for show. Uh, <laughs> right, let me just rub that in a minute. Now I'm going to go on to eyes. So what I love about these palettes, like I said, I haven't tried this one, but I do have another one of these is in this top corner here. Um is like an eyeshadow base and it's a really 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 nice one so you can literally just get your finger in there and just swipe it across the lid and it really makes everything stick like i w i don't know if they do i need to actually ask the girls on dior but if they did this on its own like just as a base i'd use it all the time because it's so nice like it's a really 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 good one so now i've swiped that on um what look do we do today i feel like i got the palette for this color so i feel like if we do something like this then yeah then that'll work so this one's a shimmer and this one's a matte so I'm going to go in with the matte on the crease and then just put the shimmer everywhere else. So let me just set my mirror up. You know when I do my own makeup like just me, it takes me literally like 10 minutes but I feel like when I'm filming and talking everything through, it takes ages, can't believe it's been like 90 minutes already. Um, yeah, I should put that in the crease. Oh, that's such a pretty colour. And it's really good pigment as well. I've, I've literally tapped into it like just a little bit. I've got all the cats circling me now. They all want to be in the video. Bubbles! Have you met YouTube yet? I don't know if you guys have even met Pebbles. I don't think you have. 
She's featured all over my Instagram a lot in my stories. Everyone also everyone's like, I don't like cats, but I like your cat. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm just going to blend this out a little bit more. But she hates being picked up, so I don't want to pick up and show you guys. And she's just whining. Hi, boys. Oh, wait. There's Mummy Nova. like uh demand and bathing so i'm just gonna deepen that color a little bit more in the crease i'm actually getting ready for my midwife appointment right now um and obviously we have to wear masks everywhere so that's why i'm not going too heavy on the makeup either because it just gets all over my mask and i just think what a waste right and now i'm gonna go in with that shimmer shade that you saw which is here and I'm just going to put that one all over the lid so I might just go in with this on my finger but I'm going to see what it goes on like with the brush first oh that's so pretty see with looks like this I used to always do like full on cut creases and loads of things like that but now I'm, I'm more like for myself I just want like a really simple look that I can make look kind of sexy or like sultry or just something like that like just a bit more simple but still where it looks really nice um, and then on clients I like to go all out <laughs> but on myself now it's just so much quicker to I've just got really lazy to be honest but I do actually like just having a simpler look and um, so I'm just gonna blend that in so that's so pretty um, and you could just get like a pigment from peaches and cream or something if you really wanted to make it pop but even on its own like that um, the lighting's awful today because the weather's not nice but it looks really pretty so I'm just going to get the shade that was in my crease and balance out my lower lash line with that ok ok and when you do like pinky tones it always makes my eyes look so much greener which I really like so with lashes and lips on this is the finished look of what i've done today um you can see it's just a really glowy look um i'm really really happy with it i love all my new little bits that i've bought i definitely don't have any regrets i'm really happy with the concealer as well because that's something i've been dying to try for so long so I'm going to see how this all wears today to see if that concealer is going to be a new favourite of mine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the lighting hasn't been the best. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying YouTube. I really want to stay on YouTube and because uh, I really enjoy it. But I may not be as good. At the minute, I'm just focusing on doing it for fun um so i'm hoping there's going to be regular uploads but with this pregnancy and everything that seems to happen and um, they may be a little bit more irregular for the time being but i really appreciate all you guys that subscribe and like and comment it means so much so thank you so much guys i hope i've inspired you to treat yourself to some bits and i'll see you in the next one bye